you know, the man lost a uh, house, mortgage. For, I paid my mortgage for 36 years and still lost my home to the bank. Don't feel, don't think I feel sorry for this guy. Don't, don't feel that I feel sorry for the guy. He looks like decent guy, clean, he's shaved, nice. Mr. Fleming's is interest only repayments nearly tripled after his mortgage was sold in 2015. His mortgage was sold in 2015. Um, interest only repayments nearly. Yorkshireman Chris Fleming has been paying a mortgage on his family home since 1987. On his family home. 1987. Despite decades of repayments, his house was repossessed last year and sold at £100,000 discount by his lender. But the, the thing is that this year, what the lender did, this is nobody's business. This doesn't concern you can whatever you want you repossess, a property, whatever, you can sell one for whatever price you want. This is nobody's business. You can actually give one for free. Nobody cares about that stuff. There's some other stuff that's interesting about this stuff here. The father of three, you know, he's so he's got three children. He's got three children. The father of three is just one of 200,000 borrowers. So this is a borrower who have been stuck on interest only mortgage. I don't know what interest only mortgage is, uh, but I imagine that is a scam. I imagine it's some sort of balloon payment, something like this that goes in the form of balloon payments or whatever, uh, convincing people that probably, I don't know, stuck interest only mortgage. Who knows? Maybe there are so many. Uh, types of mortgages and there is there are so many ways to scam and it goes into different subcategories uh, you have amortized mortgage you have balloon payment uh, you have all sorts of that goes that break down each breaks down into different uh, all kinds of scams I'm gonna say all kinds of scams and it's not necessary also scams the thing is, this is your job. It's your job when you purchase something, when you borrow the money, it's your job. You assume responsibility for it. Now, if you are mentally incapacitated and you have you are suffering from mental deficiency or something like that, most likely you would not even get to um, to borrow the money. You most likely would not be approved by uh by lenders by by uh, by brokers they want to know where you're going to get the money from they want to know if you qualify in other words <laughs> and i'm not going to say anything here because it's different in britain than it's from the us in us it goes also there is a program so kinds of freddie mac fannie mae uh, first time home buyer, this and that, new home. There's a lot of different stuff that goes to the US, but I don't think it's any better than it's in the UK. I think, who knows? I'm not going to wait in because I didn't live in the UK. It's your job, however, to make sure that when you borrow, wherever is the money that you borrow, that you have your way to pay one back. If the interest rates are too high, then it's too bad. You're not going to be capable to pay back. Eventually, unless you're going to get employment that's going to, you know, or a lottery ticket, they will repossess you, take away from you everything you have. <clears throat> not necessary. Also not necessary. Not even what I stated right now is necessary. Not even that kind of stuff is necessary. This is the way it sounds again, but then again, the governments sometimes have 
their way to even negotiate. Okay. Uh, it's all kinds of scam that goes on. Um, the guys like this, they would do is, oh, it's all kinds of stuff that goes on. Um, I'm surprised that he didn't find the way out of this crap by refinancing, by using another company to refinance, to to pay the original. I don't know, really. I, I have no idea what's his situation from what is stated here. I cannot even come to conclusion, whatever. But the company serves that the loan have charged customer high standard variable rates ever since. For some, the loan rates have soared to 10. This is uh, this is 10 points. I don't know. Yeah, in the US, it goes, but they give you points and stuff. So this is a 10 PC UK following Fortnite successive bank rate rises. Um, <clears throat> I have no idea what 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 exactly this stuff here is. I don't understand any of this stuff here. I I, I don't get any of this stuff here. Um but it seems like it got to do with this stuff here. It was sold off by government state bank UK as a resolution uh, after the financial crash. So the thing is that a British state bank seems like was sold. It was some kind of a financial crash you had over there in Britain. And uh, your state-owned bank was sold, and I think that this is this is what it is. That's where he borrowed the money to finance the house and this. And so the companies servicing the loans have charged customers standard variable rates ever since. But sometimes their loan rates have soared to, and so on. Well, you know what you do is in this case. You go and you sue, basically. This is a very easy way to resolve this issue. Because he was lucky enough that he borrowed the money from the government state bank. Uh, if it's a government state bank and so on, uh, and it's a private company, whatever they privatize or whatever they did, they change whatever scam they did. The, the one who does the stuff like this, is, this is a government person, a state a government. Uh, you have the right to sue, basically, government. You have the right to take this, of course, to the Strasbourg. You have the right to take this issue to the Brussels, which membership you no longer have. Uh, so since you don't have that anymore, you also have the right to uh, take this issue to... I don't want to be sarcastic. You know, I don't want to, this video to sound... Uh, about the Buckingham Palace, something like this. Um, <clears throat> there's many, many different places you can take this to. You can take this under the bridge, or you can take this to whatever institution you have in the country you can use to sue your government. Do you have this kind of institution? Do you have institution that you can actually use and press criminal charges against your government for... Uh, doing something like that, uh, that makes things very difficult because even if he was, even if he was, uh, even if it was like a banker or something like that, he would not, he would have difficulty to understand what was done to one. So a mental state here is now out of question. So the gentleman, I would say, is in a good state of healthy state of mind. He borrowed the money through the state bank, through the government bank, made a contract with one, and then it's something that your British uh, bill of uh, what do you, what do you have in Britain? I don't know. You have you don't have what is it like something that protects you, like a consumer act, something that gives you the right to press charges against your government is what's going to come in question here. You will go and you will look into this issue here. You know, uh, that's why, in general, I don't like uh, Donald Trumps. 
I don't like that kind of system because it's a, it's a thuggery, because it's a theft. It's a ripoff, it's a theft, it's a thuggery. Um, privatizing public education is a bad idea. Uh, privatizing prison system is a bad idea. Privatizing anything that you people vote for and is connected directly to the human rights is a bad fucking idea, right? Anything that is regulated by the government is regulated by people, by you. At least you do have the right to administer what your money, taxpayer money, uh, is financing. Um, you are the people that have established different departments, different, uh, you know, so that people would have ability to defend themselves. Uh, and when it comes to the private sector, uh, it's just contrary to that. They're, working, they're always working on it to, to destroy, steal, rip off people, cause damage, harm. But then again, that's not in all cases. You also have people that are good people. You also have people that are decent people that, that are not... You know, I feel sorry for the people like Warren Buffett. I feel sorry for people that are that did their earnings like in an honest way. And it's a clown, man, that comes on a on a fucking you know on a stage and just starts to like ah, you know here I am ah, you know. And it will scare the shit out of entire population you know, with the issues that most of these people, most of the people, most of the billionaires do not steal money. They, they did work. Millionaires, they, they work their ass. They're probably the most, the hardest working portion of the society. But within this group of people is also cookies that just love to be thugs. They love to steal. And some... You know, because it also works vice versa, can cause really, really harm. Well, we don't know really who Donald Trump, what Donald Trump is, can cause a really, really harm also to a private sector and come high, you know, and, and do the stuff like this. It's very difficult really to know what's going on. In the case of Donald Trump, it's easy to understand. Um, this, this is not a specific video against Donald Trump. I don't like one, but this is not a specifically video designed against Donald Trump. Behind Donald Trump is a whole list of crooks that, you know, also democratic crooks, all kinds of crooks, all kinds of gangsters, criminals on both sides that need this kind of stuff to thrive basically on the other side. You know, so I'm against the crime on both sides, on a government side, and I'm against the crime on a private side. Yeah. So, okay, let's continue with this stuff here. So, uh, one thing I established now so far is that this man here, who also was involved in MK Ultra, and it doesn't matter to me shit if you were involved in MK Ultra or not, but I established one thing now that, yeah, the sound mind, there's nothing mentally wrong with this guy. It pisses me nothing more. Nothing more pisses me off than when I read the story like this. You know, I don't give a fuck if you were paying for 40 years or 50 years or whatever the fuck you were paying the mortgage. And it really, really doesn't matter that you are, if you're a father of three or four or five or ten kids or whatever the fuck. It doesn't matter. To me, this does not tell anything. It doesn't tell me anything. What basically tells me initially is that rather than like I did and I settled for crazy types of job opportunities including the truck driving and working on the ship refusing basically to be in somebody's house uh, married you know a wealthy something and I don't like that stuff, man. 
I like to be on my own. I don't want anybody to tell me, do you, you know what uh, this is? What this is you have because I gave you and so on. Maybe because this was used at large when I was young. To, in addition to everything they have done to me, they would keep reminding me of you have this because of me and so on and stuff like that. When nobody, I never had anything because of anybody. It was exactly vice versa, and so. For me to settle for some kind of crap like this, and was even tortured. It even turned into the physical torture. So that people who claimed that I had, because of them, could make their interests, they make their money, they could realize more money and so on. I don't like none of the stuff. I don't give a fuck if you, if the car was taken away from you. Thanks God it was because. You took something at credit of somebody else. You stolen something that you were not qualified for, that you did not, that you did not have uh, the right to. And it's somebody else, some other taxpayer that is paying for your shit, basically. I don't care about that. I don't have kids. I'm 52 years old, and I still don't have kids. So what do you make the kids? And you live inside of the family home. That rather makes look the whole thing like a story of somebody that uh, is just think that uh, because he grew the kids up and because uh, it was a family home and because he looked good and because he's clean and this and that, that is just uh, because he went to the job, that is just the, the government is just going to walk away or bank is just going to have to walk away from, uh, you know, repossession of his home. And so on. I don't care about people like this. I don't give a shit about people like this. Really, seriously, just like a job, when you report to the job, you have to assume all your duties and responsibilities. At that point, when your fellow worker, whatever is it, passes and down onto you or your assignment, whatever it is, you have to assume you have to take responsibility for it. This is nobody's fault. What the fuck is going to happen? What you're going to be working on? How you're going to be performing your work, your job, your life, basically. This is solely your shit. And I don't believe that other people have to pay for your mistakes. That you are well aware. Most of the cases of people, I witnessed people that would go fucking buy themselves new cars. They knew they have no fucking chance. They know that they don't qualify. Uh, I witnessed people that... They lost many times houses, and they keep going for credits, many times cars, and they became scammers and all kinds of stuff. And the U.S. government will continue to work with them and always find them a fucking way to uh, stay out of the prison, basically, uh, negotiate with them due to whatever status they have within the society and so on. And I've seen so much of this shit that I get sick, man, when I see the headline like this. Knowing basically that at one point in time I went ahead and purchased, like, gave down payment, like 40% down payment in cash for the house. And I still did not qualify as a first time buyer in the USA of being forcefully, forcefully listed on permanent unemployment so that. I could go from one place to another and identify people that were involved in MKUltra and just fucking rotten dead. Basically, so they could they could engage in more and more violence against me and drive me completely nuts. It turned into a violence on two continents. Yeah, all my money was wasted, all my life savings and so on. When I see stuff like this, I don't give it three fucks about it. Man, when you go through something in life that you commit yourself to some kind of, I don't know, I don't know what kind of issues that, that would actually get my attention when it comes to stuff like this. When you, when, if you do the financing, you actually cannot even lose home as long as you do the stuff that you're supposed to do. But if you, if you take too much credit, 
and you you cannot afford and so on and that's a totally different story i was selling a real estate in the united states i tried and i did witness to all kinds of transactions people did to all kinds of uh, issues used to sell cars and have seen what the hell went on in this in this sector so this guy is normal this is not one of the people like this and i came to terms that this is a normal guy and was doing his stuff because this father i can say is a father he was by the way he was a really nice guy but that that still doesn't make any difference he was a really nice guy uh this is a very very nice guy uh and but that still doesn't make any difference uh what 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 i learned here is that that he is normal that this is this is a normal person that what he did was is nothing wrong with it it's a british government that ripped one off they went ahead and they rip him this man should sue british state or what is known also as united kingdom that's why i was a little bit sarcastic but that's what you do i don't know Either you go under the bridge or you go to the you go to the monarchy, uh, beg them basically to interfere with stuff they are actually behind. They are also a private firm. They are actually a private company, they are a private firm, they regard them as a firm. You know this. They regard them as a firm, as a company. But Prince Harry was the one who tutored me, he lessoned me, he told me. Uh, once you're going to become a royal, you won't have to give a fuck about because you are institution. He, in other words, have lessened me. He gave me a lesson that if I, if I was to marry a royal, I would become an institution, part of the institution. Just like uh, any kind of other government institution, that I would also be an institution, a royal institution, basically. Um, <clears throat> that's what's wrong with the Britain because funds are right at the top of the pyramid and they shit all over the place this is what the British state have them yeah you know it wasn't all that for nothing that I stated that uh, maybe you could go and express dissatisfaction at the Buckingham uh, Palace gate um all through it is known that British royals never lose and that people who oppose them then die uh, searching for work and inside a psychiatric institution and so on and it's exactly why they also exist as, a, as Prince Harry says, the institution. They exist to fear the shit. It's like a bully within the society. They basically have them literally to bully, to harass, to uh you know yeah but the british believe they're gonna take this shit on a global level and it's what i was used for it's what i was redistributed and then we're looking for approval to the corruption to the serving the people to the re-established kingdom and so on uh for people to see themselves in the violence as the ability to take advantage of through the constitution up, rip the constitution apart. You know, Donald Trump is there with the reason. All right, so nothing is wrong with this guy. This is a father of three, nice guy. We know now a few things. Uh, and the repossession, when it comes to the repossession, you go to the court and at the court, uh, you will still have ability to negotiate with the judge Judy. I'm just kidding. Judge Judy is gone of the picture, but I'm just using that as an example. Go and see how people negotiate uh, with uh, judges or whatever judge you're going to have, at least in the U.S., but I don't know how this is in Britain. So anyways, uh, some cannot even sell because they don't, they do well, yeah, I mean, it's all kinds of stuff that goes on. Um, 
I'm not going to go into this specifically. Um, there's million different issues that apply to this stuff. Um, it's not a good day when, like, the guy that, that was my co-worker in Miami, what a jack this guy was, man. <laughs> he was, yeah, I mean, he screwed up. I mean, and I'm glad he did because what's happening in the U.S., this private market, this mortgage people, uh, they just go out there and they just rip people apart. They do all kinds of stuff to the people to sign this contract. And then they, like, you go to the dealer and the car is worth, like, let's say $2,000. Uh, he's going to get one for $2,000. We'll go and we'll sell one for six seven thousand dollars won't even buy one from the first owner of the street but will actually go to the auction and fucking buy the car so that he can twist the mileage around and then we'll sell one to you basically for like three four fucking times more than what you know whatever it doesn't matter sometimes it's not three four times sometimes it's just maybe for double value and or we use financing like an interest rate to fuck you up they always get their money back basically so what you will finance basically is your stupidity what you will finance is some fucking inability to go lift your ass and find somebody who is actually selling the car of the street as a first owner or second owner or whatever and, you know uh and it can also be dangerous business which is covered in the u.s by some laws that will protect you from like a lemon deals because you then you have also a private party that will do lemon deals uh flood and all yeah all kinds of issues like this but still there's all kinds of stuff here when it comes to this stuff and you know <laughs> Man, when did this guy, my co-worker in Miami, he was Jack. He was just, he would just go and he would just use a way to get a new car from the lot, a brand new car. And then what he would do is he would trash the car like within two, three years. Within two years, the car was not worth the shit. The car that was worth it, I don't know, 20000 that he paid for the new car was just worth it. And this is like back in time, like you would pay today, like 30, 30 quid, like 30,000 you would pay. And within like two years, the car was just worth nothing, basically, like maybe $2,000 or something. When they came to repossess the car, the fucking car, was there was nothing to repossess, actually. It's a catastrophe. It's all kinds of stuff that goes on, man. Uh, let's forget about this stuff here. Then you have some kind of a, what is this here? Scottish National Party MP for West, whatever. All right, so this 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 crap is like political stuff. So I'm not gonna say that for you to know who did this shit to you here privatized basically state bank state law um just look for who will be representing you i'm not going to go into that because that's not necessarily the truth it's not necessarily true could be could not be it's not necessarily true the truth is that you have to move your butt you got to find your way out of this stuff um preferably not even getting yourself in a politics so that means you have to go to some kind of a customer care service, something, and uh, press the lawsuit, preferably yourself, not by hiring an attorney or anything like this. Uh, it's a scam, and this scam is covered by the government. The government of Britain, the British taxpayer, are actually liable in this case you as a taxpayer are scammed by the british taxpayers 
because you did everything to fulfill your obligations and um, very very seldomly is what happens is it happened to you your case is actually legible even for human rights courts it's a human related issue it's a human rights related issue and you do have certain rights that cover your right to uh to prosperity to your peace of mind whatever i don't know about that stuff i'm not i did not study that but you do have certain clauses that protects you from uh basically constitutional monarchy as it is britain classified as uh, should cover your rights under consumer laws uh, such as uh, you're having the right to your property it goes literally into your property rights your right basically to own house it goes your case is different from the case as if somebody would pay with a cash for the house and it will become nationalized basically it will become like it used to be in eastern europe uh property from everybody all of a sudden they would just go and nationalize the property and say hey buddy uh from now on you don't own the whole farm you just own a room and that little grass over there that little field over there where you can have still three cows or whatever the rest belongs to the people of whatever country and so on and stuff like this and the same thing with whatever house factory or whatever so you are covered in a sense that it's it pertains it's it's a basic right this is just a home a family home uh what goes into the category of something they can absolutely nobody can can uh can take and steal that away from you but the problem here is the one that a lot of people are afraid of that's basically a lawsuit against the government me personally i don't give a fuck about the government or governments but yeah that is that applies to different people uh so so then you have these people politicians talking about the mortgage rates and stuff like this which is really really nice it's a it's a right thing to do it's it's cool this is this is all right, all that stuff. But I would say to you that it's always a matter of priorities. And um, I don't think that uh, that the politicians should be discussing a private uh, interest rates, loan interest rates, uh, and or negotiate them uh, and do this kind of stuff. Because, you know, this, this is just, it's losing the essence. The essence is covered here, you know, this clause here that it was sold off by government state bank now there is nothing you can do this is a government state bank and uh, you need to you need to it's the only place the only fucking time that applies to uh to the to the loans to the mortgages is whatever is state national uh then to the certain degree also private whatever so that it would not uh totally totally violate stuff you also have scams where private lenders charge so much interest rate and all kinds of stuff that it's it's um it actually uh it's 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 clearly a scam so hey you know but that goes so more into the law enforcement or whatever it pertains um uh, private regulators are also subject to the government regulations uh, however at the bill of the sale at the time when the sale takes place but then again that's different from whatever type of loan you took i mean i don't know what kind of loan you had and so on this is the stuff we still don't know what kind of form what what type of payment here did you choose to go through with it and it's really question what here again was regulated at the time of at the time of your bill sale and so on and whether there was actually even ability for your sale to be regulated in the future if the 
bill of sale, in other words, included the right to government to change conditions uh, over the course of the time. That therefore interest rate, if you are subject to government's ability to adjust uh, that what what type of loan was this? What type of we don't know anything about this stuff here. Still we don't know anything about this stuff here. So this is this is the stuff you might want to study before you want to file that complaint. And I would also suggest the people who write the articles like this to go and uh, go over the whole thing and then just basically write it down for what it is. It's nice that, that we have here politicians that want to take care of that, but it's really that's really job for for the courts. That's really the job for uh for the agencies that were established, therefore, government agencies always go to the government agency that were established for the purpose of uh, covering your rights under such and such act, uh, homeowner act, whatever, loan act, whatever, whatever you will be using to get your money back. I mean to get your house back, whatever. But this is this is the thing. This this stuff already is all. Oh, this was this was. But well, wait a minute. Yeah, this is 2015. Yeah, because we did discuss with this guy this kind of issue. It was something like this they did to him, and they were telling me that that was wrong and so on. Okay. I should go and look for these names here. This was a, this is the thing. This supposedly they were very very nice politicians, and nice, uh, nice politicians, nice people, and this and that. Uh, the thing is, I am not going to be. Supposedly these people are on my side. Supposedly these people are on my side, and so on. Uh, and they are now saving this stuff, and so on. But the thing is that. There was no sides in my side. There was no such thing as sides on my side. In 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 my side, um, there was a police. There was a law enforcement which did not fulfill its obligations in either country. That's one of the things. Uh, and on my side also were uh, basically the politicians, or if you like, actors and. Uh, players and whatever they involve in it uh, that have basically sided with the corruption for their own interest, for their own gain, for their own benefit. And nobody benefited more from within than the British state, for which also this case was designed. It was like a top of the pyramid. pyramid. You know, the bigger the country, the more it profited from within. Uh, but nobody through the crime, through the organized corruption, profited more from within than the British royals did. They got all kinds of special favors for screwing up not only people, but also countries. <clears throat> they started to shape the world through the crime, through the organized crime, etc. and so on. So, what happened here, this year, after 2015, doesn't even make sense. It doesn't. It doesn't tell anything. This. This doesn't tell anything. So, end of the story for me. End of the story is here, right where I charted you this stuff here. This is basically the end of it. What. What is afterwards and stuff like this. It doesn't fucking matter. Uh, you just have to find. You just have to find a way. Uh, to sue your government, for basically causing you and financial losses as well as causing you a harm to your health through stress uh, and all kinds of problems that derive through that stuff you need to find a way uh, before you would do what i stated here you would just preferably go and uh, get your home back as a matter of fact you know 
Not really. Go for everything or nothing. So things aren't easier because you are out of European Union. Uh, it just got a little more interesting. This here does not concern anything here when it comes to. Who cares? Who cares? It doesn't matter. This stuff here doesn't matter. I mean, when you take whatever it is that you do, you, you're responsible, you're liable for it. You know, they took uh, my house and $60,000 in fees and so on. It's a really, really sad stuff they do to the people. It's a really, really sad, sad stuff they do to the people. Uh, it's just that, you know, it's you people I don't feel sorry for because you do it yourself. You do it to yourself. You, you, you know, guys, you, you pledge the oath to your constitution, which says, we, the children of the United States of America, and in this case of Britain, if we will not lie, steal, and kill, our God would not bless us. So, you get the blessings. I mean, the blessings are circling around. They are karma, a bitch, that hits everybody more or less equally. Uh, even that what is said is about 15 people in Britain, 15 million people in Britain are poor. Uh, and I wouldn't even go in issues of the United States of America. It's a really such a sad picture. But you came to conclusion, you yourself came to conclusion that if you will not lie, steal, and kill, your God will not bless you. You understand me what I'm saying? I mean, what is here to discuss? I mean, you yourself, you set the rules like this. You agreed upon. You just love the fucking monarchy. You want the monarchy. You love it. You love the monarchy. You want it this way. Uh, and yeah, the more you do like this to yourself, um, the more the country, the wealthier the country is going to be. That is true. Now, the rest of the world is catching up with you financially. And things are getting more and more tense and they're getting more and more difficult. I saw the news that there is this company, Neo, in China. Very interesting. I think they said like a company size 10 to 50. Um, No, they said like it's like a hundred uh, people, and the company is completely robotized. And these are not people; they are technicians. Uh, and what is this here? Like they can, they manage to produce through the robo robotized industry like five thousand units. What is this like per year or what? So my God, eh, can you fucking imagine this? I mean. What I'm trying to say here is because you, the children of the United States of America and Britain, uh, you, you have chose basically such a way of life is that things are not going to get any easier for you. The thing is that things are not going to get any easier for anybody, you know. Uh, the next thing that's going to happen is, and it's not going to be only for you, it's going to be for everybody. I, I actually, we have this company, Renault, here in the city of the Nova Mesto. Uh, it's like 5,000 people, I understand, that are employed in there. Uh, oh, my God. I'm thinking about these people, how they're going to be looking for the job all over the fucking place. How uh, can you imagine you have 50 people and a production capacity of 5,000 units per year that is just robots that are working and they're just stamping basically the, the, the stuff meaning that we are at present at this time probably when it comes to the the manufacturing industry at probably about 80 percent human surplus 
and with the arrival of artificial intelligence and so on, do you know how many of you is going to stay out of the fucking job at home, jobless, under the bridge, looking for work in hope to die? This is the shit I have gone through. This is what my life consisted. I know what it's like. So my channel is going to be probably very, very popular, more and more popular. Um, really not the channel out of those roses that we usually see on the internet. Simply flourishing from everything. Um, 80% of the workforce is a scary stuff in a production, manufacturing and stuff. It's going to be fired. It's going to be replaced with a robotized artificial intelligence. This is what we are heading now. It's not only in China. It's also going to be in Britain like this. And in the United States, Donald Trump doesn't give a fuck about you. Donald Trump wants to know how to dry the swamp. He wants to know how to dry the swamp, the private industry. Call it the private. You can call it a private if you want. Call it a private, that's going to make you feel better. You can call it a private, even if it's obviously it's not so private, because of the things when the bank had made the sale. This sale was done illegally because it changed the contract. Initial contract was changed by the private bank. It's always whenever you are a state bank, when you're a state bank or the government bank, you don't have the right to change. Uh, you have to make sure you have to assure yourself that the following banking institutions that would broker your mortgages your your loans would not change the initial conditions to the sale which you have committed yourself to with a with a little people like this guy like with a private parties like this so yeah the the you the government the british government is totally totally liable for this stuff but you know You do. You do. You guys understand everything I'm talking about. You totally understand what I what I'm talking about. You are in competition with the rest of the world, and uh, quite frankly, Quite frankly, um, your blessings are here, you know. These are your blessings. These are the blessings that, that you know, you were built to basically to conquer, to conquest. So it feels good. It doesn't feel so bad, you know. Feel good about losing house. Feel good about losing home. Feel good about losing your wife. Feel good about diabetes. Don't worry about it. You know? Don't worry about it. It's all good. It's all good. Donald Trump is grateful to you. You make America great again. And you make Britain great again. You guys are not going to start to pay attention to these issues because my grandfather used to say, cover yourself only when you go to sleep. Cover yourself only with the bed sheet or I should say a bed cover that is uh, long enough to cover your feet. If your, your feet are not covered when you sleep, you're going to catch a cold. Because your feet are going to get cold at night, you're going to catch a cold. So don't take more credit than what you can handle. So you're not going to bite yourself in an ass.
something went wrong. Um, I think that this was it, right? This was the one that I was using for. Oh, something went totally wrong. And uh, just something went wrong, okay? Something went wrong. So just what you do is you go to your bank institution uh, and, you know, um, Try to f don't go to your banking institution. Try to find out where you can complain to. You probably have this stuff on the internet, but really, 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 you can use any kind of government services really uh, to report that your state, your government, your British government went ahead and did not ensure that your contract. You have made with one with your banking and with your government institution would be abide by future banking institutions with whom this state, your government, your British government bank have brokered your deal. Uh, and then, yeah, sue them, sue the fuck out of them for causing you stress, for causing you maybe your wife le left you and your dog bite you and so on and so forth you know so this is basically this is basically the nature of what can i say let me see this the happiest countries in the world let me see if the britain is somewhere let me see it so These are the articles, the journalists that were also involved in MKUltra that would simply uh, sadistically uh, play in my face, literally, articles like this when I was eating the psychiatric pills and was mistreated and really was not more then on behalf of British royals, so your darlings over there from London, that you just you just love your darlings. You go and you purchase them every fucking day. You purchase them. Let's see. Let's let me see that you love them. You love the babies. So you have a special section for the royals. You go here. So lovely, man. You can feel you can be compassionate with them because they have feelings because. You know, they also die and they, they're also ill and they're just like you. They're just like you. Everything is just like you. They have real children. They have real wives. Uh, it's just like you. And they love each other. And they also have, they also, they also don't share the common feelings. Sometimes they, they, uh, they have, they have, uh, they have a family disputes. But for most of the time, you know, you're from the happiest country in the world. So don't despair. Stay happy, you know. AliExpress is open for you. No, don't buy, don't buy vitamins from AliExpress. Buy watches, buy the stuff like that, but not vitamins. You know, buy uh, technical stuff. Don't buy, don't buy yourself vitamins. You never know. That could be dangerous, or eBay or whatever it is, and uh, you will be all taken care of. Don't worry about it. But your British Royals also manufacture in China. They were one of the first initial manufacturers, so you know, well, you'll be all right. Okay. So, uh, thanks for watching this video. They said that something went wrong. Uh, fuck it. We're gonna make it somehow.